So sheet metal, all right? It's basically a piece of paper made out of metal. All right, it's very thin. Quite simply, that's there. We can fold it, we can somewhat uh, weld it, which we'll show later. However, one difference, we need to use this here, which is called a scriber or a scribe instead of our nice sharp pencil. Okay, pencil doesn't really show up very well on sheet metal, especially um, galv, galvanized sheet metal. I'll show you that later. Um, other than that, the scribe is used exactly how a pencil is used, okay? So if we wanna mark out, let's say we are making a safety edge, all right? So we're gonna come 10 millimeters in, or yeah, we'll go 10 millimeters in, do a little scratch there, and we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Do a little mark there. We can then connect the two together like that. Now, hopefully that shows up fairly well on the camera and hold it up so you can see it. Okay, that then gives us a nice shiny line that is easier to see than pencil. Okay, so everything else is the exact same as in woodwork as well. All right, using a ruler, I find it easier to start my measurements from the 100 millimeters. Reason for it, anything to the left of the 100 millimeters is full of half mil markings as well. Everything to the right of 100 millimeters is just in one millimeter increments. It's a lot easier to read. So I just line up the edge with the two markings of 100 on the top and one on the bottom. And then I go to the 10, do a little mark either side, and then I can connect. Okay, so that, that's all that there is to measuring and marking. Ruler, scribe. Okay, make sure you use a scribe, not a pencil.